All right, what's up, everybody? Canuck here. It's been a while. Again, I apologize. This The consistency of this series has just been awful. I've been very busy uh, with some other projects and real-life stuff, so I'm sorry. Um, but welcome to another episode of Complete Course Construction. And as you can see, the layout's changed a little bit. I apologize for the terrible lighting in here. I think I did in the last video, too. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of just going to be like this until I find a solution. I might get a ring light or something, but... Yeah, just lots of natural light. Everything like kind of looks really bright, kind of red. I don't, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, we're gonna have to make do. You guys are here to see the course, not my ugly mug. I know that. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get rolling here. Uh, so <laughs> first time I've opened this file in a few weeks, but I do remember us working on thirteen, which was a gonna be a kind of short wind its way up the hill par four. I don't think we're going to add in any bunkers. I think it's just, you know, you've got this natural area that people are going to try to play over. Um, you know, it's not overly... It's not overly wide. But, I mean, if people do take, take this line, I mean, that might be okay. Again, we're flirting with these tee boxes here, which I don't love. It's just... You know, if we were going to run into this these issues building 12 and 13 anyway. I guess if need be, I could maybe move the 12 tees over here, but this is going to have to do. <laughs> uh, so, let's get going. I mean, we don't have too much left to do. we got obviously got some sculpting issues to do. A little bit of planting, but I don't think this hole is going to need a ton, to be quite honest. Maybe a little tree line up here. And then uh, we are real lost on the rest of the course so we got to figure out how we might route 14 in because we have to deal with a lot of shadows uh so that's going to be a bit of a challenge so we'll uh we'll see what happens anyway let's get going we'll turn on a little bit of music today as we always do hopefully the volume is okay i checked it a couple times so unless something weird changed we're good. All right, let's get going. We are at 23 hours and six minutes, almost a full day. We might hit the one day mark of building this course, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so, you know, we've got some sight line issues we got to attend to here. Um, definitely some sculpting, which basically falls into the same category. And we got to build these tee boxes. I mean, like I said, real tight area to put these tee boxes in. I don't love where these tees are at all. I know there's been suggestions in the comments. You know, there's been uh, some issues with these couple holes, but I think for the most part, we like it. It's just, it is very tight. Um, not much we can do. I mean, we could built put some trees here to block this but then you're kind of uh, i don't know i don't know let's put down some t's first and we'll think about that we'll think about that maybe a tree line you know forces some shot shaping too maybe that's not so bad all right so we'll we're gonna keep it pretty simple here is this four t's it's four t's i think my music might be a tad loud we'll turn it down a bit Hopefully that's okay. All right. So that's going there. Probably put... We have circle T's here and square... <laughs> ah, we'll fix all these inconsistencies once we get to kind of final play testing. But yeah. We've been building this course for a while, it seems. And yeah, apologies for it just being super inconsistent. I've been working on some other PGA projects. I've been, like I said, real life stuff, enjoying time with my little girl. And um, yeah, playing some other games too. Mixing it up. I'm not just a PGA guy. I'm, I really do enjoy playing other games. Getting really into racing and, and that kind of stuff, so... Those are definitely my interests right now, but uh, I've always got time for a little PGA Tour. Always. Okay, so here's the back tees here. We'll move those in. All right. So, I mean, I like this kind of big, rough, 
wasty... I don't even know what I'm calling this. Wasty area. Um, but we got to bring up this part of the fairway. We got to smooth it out a bit because it's a mess right now. So we're going to work on some sight lines here. So I'm going to bring this edge up. So we still get that infinity style look to this fairway. Oh, it just looks like it runs off into the cliff, which is what we want. But it is still a bit bump, a little bit on the bumpy side. So we're just going to do a bit of a larger flatten here. We are coming into the home stretch. I mean, I could have had this course done months ago, but things have gotten in the way. But uh, more content coming, including uh, starting work on something really cool. So I'm hoping uh, you guys check that out when the time comes. Got an extremely cool project coming down the line that I've been teasing for a while and. I think all will be revealed in the next week or two, so keep an eye on uh, Twitter and this channel it's... and my Twitch. I've been all, I've been streaming on Twitch a lot. I think I mentioned that again last time, but um, yeah, I know a lot of people said you know I don't use Twitch. I'm more I you know I don't go on Twitch. I, need, I, I like YouTube stuff. I get it, um, but I mean for live I just prefer live streaming on Twitch and. I will try to bring some every stream I, I I think I'm like okay I'm gonna bring some some of that stream or I'm gonna, I want to put that stream onto YouTube and then our streams are always kind of fun and they get off the rails and yeah it, 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 I'm like ah, I can't use this for YouTube so one day the stars will align and Okay, that is an improvement. Let's just take a look at the tee shots. So yeah, I kind of want this. So people can try to cut. I think I might put some trees there. You know, I, I might force, you know, if people want to take that shot, I might force a shot shape. I think that would make this a little bit more interesting. Is it a little forced? It is, but it serves a couple purposes in that it, you know, if this were a real golf course, this is protecting these golfers here on, on 12 tees. So um, I think it does serve a purpose. If you've noticed I've gone to no tempo on, uh, on uh, design testing. Not all the time, but just when I want to get a rough sense all right, this will work. Second shot looks good. So yeah, this is going to be a bunkerless hole. Right. I maybe want to look at popping up the area, maybe five, ten feet. Let's try this. See what we get. We'll flatten it out in a second. That might just help it a little bit. That's better. Better. Okay. So we'll flatten her out again. You might be hearing some slight background noise with my fan. You know what? Let's turn it off. It's not that hot in here yet, so let's let's get that background noise off. Thankfully, we will be transitioning into fall soon, so I'm not going to need my my um, my fan. Hopefully, yeah. There's not really any heating or cooling in this room, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to stay warm in the winter. I do have a heater, but so 
let's just kind of flatten this out just to make it look like it's actually not on a hill. Just clean this up a bit. We're going to be doing a lot of this work kind of near the end. Okay. All right, tea boxes are laid down for the most part. I'm pretty happy with that. A little bit of flatten work in here. Okay, so now we got to think about our trees. And yeah, I mean, I got to throw some in. Not a lot, just a few. I think it does serve a dual purpose. It definitely adds a strategy element to it. And, you know, people on that tee are going to need a little bit of protection. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm not thinking too many, just some of these taller trees. And we'll see how she looks. I think right off the bat that looks miles better. It just adds a little bit to this hole because it was it was a little bit empty, I feel. Even something just like that. Like that protects uh might even go a little further over too. I just want to make sure it's not affecting the 12 shot at all. It is not. Yeah, I think those trees are going to stay. I think those look pretty good. Maybe add a couple more just to block out that area completely. You know, that still opens up, you know, you can play a draw if you want. It's a, that's a pretty risky draw, but you can play it. I think that I think that'll work nicely. Maybe just a few more so it doesn't look like they're in a nice perfect line. We don't want that. these there we go something like that i think that helps the hole out significantly yep now the right does look pretty empty so i, I think most people the safe play they're gonna just hit three wood And then they've got, you know, fairly long mid iron to an uphill, not very large green. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit wider at the back, kind of back left right. So if people do try to cut it and end up maybe left of the fairway, they've got maybe a little bit, well, they have quite a bit better angle in uh, to at least a couple of the pins if they do try, you know, something and end up, you know, let's say here. That's a much better angle than being back here. Well, maybe not angle, but hard to say. Hard to say. Okay, now we're going to get into some bigger sculpting here as we're going to just kind of tweak these cliffs a bit because they're we haven't really done anything to them since we made the plot. So we're just going to sharpen them a little bit. And we'll come in with a little fuzzy brush here. So we don't want them too pointy either, so. Do something like this. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, right side definitely looking empty. I'm trying to think what could I possibly add over here. I mean, I could add like a boat or something, like a giant boat. <laughs> See how that would look. Like the big old container ship. Would that even would that help at all? Just kind of going out and into the distance. Something like that. It just needs something visual out on the right. You can't even see it. <laughs> I don't hate it out there, though. Hmm. I mean, we could do a couple trees, maybe, just kind of out. It's not... Yeah, and right now I'm working on framing. So... I want this tee shot to pop. You know, maybe maybe we could put a little grove of trees kind of right in here. I don't want to ruin that view, but that might help things a bit. So let's just put a few trees in there, see what happens. And then we'll work on uh, that second shot. Yeah, we, we got a lot of planting questions we still need to try and solve for ourselves. Once the course is kind of complete. We actually might even be thinning trees as we hit 14 because we are going to be running into some very significant shadow issues for the last few holes, which are going to be a struggle. So I'm, I'm actually... Still haven't quite figured out how I'm going to handle that. But... Maybe a little bit more. Maybe just kind of extend it out to about here. And recently, since I started this course, I've kind of been experimenting with some kind of new underbrush. Um, well, it's not new, it's just something I've been using more and more. Um, I won't, I probably won't start putting it in until we get into final planting stages, but I think it'll help really kind of thicken up the, uh, you know, the first five feet. I think just even that helps. Add a little grass here. A little bit of the dead stuff. I think, I think that'll help. Add a couple of the bushes. Ones we've been using a lot of. Probably not going to do a planting time lapse with this, as there's not a ton of planting that needs to be done here. Okay, so let's take a look now, see if that helped it. I think that helps it a little bit on the right. It's not a great tee shot. It's not, but let's try a little, uh, let's try a little cut here. Just like that, baby. Even that's too far, so you gotta even play more of a cut. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, that's a tough shot. I, I don't know. I think people may be tempted to play a cut, but realize that that might be not the smartest play. I want anything that's even sniffing the cliff not to get caught up. I want it. I want it right down into the water. Sorry, everybody. Okay. All right. Let's focus a little bit on sh this second shot here. Oh, what is happening to this tee? This looks awful. Let's fix this so it doesn't look like it's perched on a hill. 
quickly go back and fix these. There we go. Better. Okay. So. Um, second shot. So this is just going to be a little bit of sculpting work, and most it's going to be mostly around the green. We got to work. It is a mess right now. That won't be too much of a fix. That's probably not terrible. It's it's a very meh second shot in. I will say that. Um, now, I'm just trying to think about what, if anything, is going to go here. Because if we kind of use trees here, that's going to block out a little bit of 13, which is kind of what I wanted to show off. But, I mean, there's not really a ton to show off over here either, so. But it is also looking a bit empty here. I kind of want to sell. I think this is going to be 14. I think 14 is going to be just a nice little par 3. Um, kind of think what I have is what's going to go there. But, anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. <sighs> Um, hmm. and again, we got to consider shadows, right? Because we, we don't want to put anything too far because we don't want too many shadows at the back. How many things to consider? I'm just going to bring that right down. Okay. All right. So yeah, I mean, I, I, you can never have 18 holes where you just, I don't know. I, I find I, I can never have 18 holes that I just love. This is going to be one that falls into the meh category for me. I just, we were just handcuffed by space on this one. Something has to go here, I feel. I don't know what, but, you know, we could do another one of these, but it's got to, it's got to fit, right? I'm not sure if that really fits. We'll have to uh, we'll have to have a little think on that one. Well, let's let's work on the green in the meantime. All right. So I do want a bit of a uh, kind of sloping towards the water a bit. I mean, we'll probably have pin one. We'll probably move it maybe up to here. That'll be a nasty shot. Uh, I do want to keep some of this a bit flatter in here because I want that front pinnable. I do want this kind of broad hill sloping everything down, so we'll probably put pin two at the back, pin three here, pin four here. It's a bit of a nasty hill, now that I'm thinking about it, it's a bit too broad. That's getting <laughs> quite nasty now. Basically, it's going to do a, a hard redo here. No, actually, you know what? It's not bad, we're just going to bring... going to bring this up a bit. Pin's getting nasty. This green's getting nastier by the minute. There we go. This may be one of the hardest greens on the course. Perhaps. 
we go. That's going to be a tough pin to access there with this, this stuff. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's see how she goes, and we'll see if there's anything blatantly missing. I mean, there is. It's a pretty meh hole, like I said. But again, just kind of being handcuffed by... We'll probably plant up the cliffs a bit on the right. Just add a little bit of visual something. I'll take it. Bingo. All right, well... There's nothing that jutted out at me saying, like, oh, we gotta change this or fix this. Um, just trying to remember how we... We haven't really done any planting on the cliffs. I'm not sure if that's gonna stay or not. Got these little islands out here. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of. Down into the abyss here. There you go. Whatever, maybe we'll have one little rock just kind of hanging off there. That looks kind of interesting. We'll fix that later, too. Oh, but yeah, I mean, other than that... We'll have to revisit. I mean, we will. We will be revisiting all these holes, obviously, when we do... Kind of final checks and stuff. and We'll see what it needs. But for right now... And we could do like a grove of trees up here. It's just a really dull second shot, visually. I think it's a pretty challenging uphill second shot, but visually it's not doing it for me. Now let, let's try, let me save this first. Let's try doing a little something up there on the left, or sorry, yeah, the left. <laughs> Terrible with my directions, which somebody pointed out, I think, in a video. And I'm real bad with my left and my right. <laughs> okay. Oops, we definitely don't want a red ash. Uh, so let's just attempt this and see what we get. that helps a bit. Helps the left side a bit. That's a little bit of underbrush work. Not much in here. Like I said, I've got a, a maybe a new idea for underbrush that I think might help. Yeah. So. I think I'm fairly comfortable in saying, at least for now, 
Hole 13 is done. It was a pretty quick build, that one. It's very meh for me right now. It's very, very meh. I, I, I don't mind the strategy of it. Sharp dogleg, but, you know, of giving a few options off the tee. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. We'll re we'll revisit. I, I think this hole we will definitely be revisiting. I don't think we'll be rebuilding it, but I think we'll be revisiting it for sure. That's not bad. Let's just do a quick play of 11, 12, 13. I kind of want to see how that stretch is feeling and looking right now. I kind of like that boat I put in there. We can see it all the way here down from 11T. Kind of neat. Course is still looking really good. Just, yeah, there's something very empty in here. I'm just... We are missing something. Really like this second shot on 11. I think we've, we've fixed that one pretty good. Ah, oh, that's it. Lighting I love on this course. It's a great look there. Boom. On to 12. Our short little par 4. Driver is a possibility. We're just going to lay up with the 3-wood. Set ourselves up for a nice, easy little... Shot or flop shot, I guess. Just like that, play it, play it like that. You got an easy birdie, and then getting into 13. Yeah, it's definitely the dullest of the bunch. Definitely the dullest of the bunch. All right. But for now, we're going to leave. We're going to leave as is for now. Until we can come up and think of something else to work on. All right. So what, what do we got here? We're about 30 minutes. I think this is probably a good place to stop. I'm kind of trying to shorten the videos down from about 40 to 30 minutes. I think that's... Maybe a little bit more digestible. Um, so in the next video, we're going to have a lot of work to do. Um, we have to finalize our routing on the last five holes. And yeah, we're we, we're getting there. We're getting there. This uh, It's a par 73 right now. I'm not... What? That's not right, is it? I only have three par threes on this course. What happened here? One? Oh my god, I do. <laughs> Did I just notice this now? Five is a par three. Fourteen's gonna be a par three. Oh my goodness. Only three par threes on this course. We could potentially do back-to-back -back threes, I think, 16, 17. I think would be kind of nice. A, night, a little inland three, and then a water three, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I think we might actually do uh, that. We might do that. I don't, I've don't. i never done back-to-back -back threes before, but... This might be the time. That brings it back to a 72. Hmm. How do we not notice that? Anyway. Am I missing thing? It's been so long since I built these holes. So one is a four. Two is a four. Three is a four. Four is a five. Five is a three. Six is 
Six is a five. Seven's a four. Eight's a four. Nine's a four. Ten's a four. Eleven's a four. Twelve's a four. Th wow, I have a long stretch of fours. Seven to thirteen are all par fours. Interesting. <laughs> uh, obviously, the numbers have got to change too. Like this has got to be. Let's let's just reorder it now. This is fourteen. This is fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Hmm. I mean, I don't love that. And then 14 through 18 is a 35335. Five, five. Oh, God. What have I done? Not really a way of getting around that, though, either. I mean, it's just kind of going to be quirky in that way, I guess. Oh, well, whatever. That is something. Yeah, we did. I didn't even notice. 23 hours in. Hey. <laughs> Double check, right? Is there anything we can do with the routing just before we leave? Hmm. Ah, well, whatever. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out. Uh, we'll try to get these videos out with a bit more frequency um, as, as I'm getting close to finishing a couple of these projects and then I can start focusing on this course again. So um, yeah, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.